Right. So what we are discussing, SAP methodology. Yeah. An SAP methodology, which is which will give you a step by step instructions to implement an SAP project. Mainly, there are five phases are there in SAP methodology. What are those five phases? The project preparation and the business blueprint, realization, final preparation, go live and support. In project preparation phase, what are the important things will take place? In generally, who will work on project preparation? Managers. Yes. You know. The high level management, the project mm -hmm. manager and the functional leads and the test lead, all these people will involve and they will travel on site from IBM location to Tata Motor location where the Tata Motor SMEs, a subject matter experts, will explain the complete business in and out to the IBM project team. Based on that, they will start planning the project. The first thing, project plan. What do you mean by a project plan? Plan means like uh, what are the... Right, mean, what are these tasks? Means the complete work will be break down into multiple tasks with this complete scheduled date and timelines. It is like mm -hmm. our exam timetable. What is the exam? When is the exam? And at what time? Everything will be there from the first step to the last go live date. So that these people can track whether all the phases are going in time, whether they're able to meet the deadline or not based on the project planning. And the second point is scope. What is a scope? What are we going to implement? What are we going to cover in this particular project? In scope and out scope. In scope is nothing but what are the modules we are going to implement now? Example, SD, MM and FICO or HR or PM or PP. And out scope means what we are not going to cover in this particular project. They will finalize. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then they will decide infrastructure. What do you mean by infrastructure? What is the server landscape is required? How many hardwares are required? How many softwares are required? The complete information will be decided here the infrastructure is based on the project side sometimes will be less and sometimes will be more in a similar way resources how many functional consultants required how many developers required how many testers required how many basis consultants how many security people all will be finalized in resources phase so these are the major points which will be covered in project preparation phase so all this project preparation is uh, done at each level right implementation rollout yeah. and up for so, each project so it will be not the same in each phase then Correct. so implementation suppose if you have 10 developers or 10 testers it may be they might be reduce the resources in next level right Correct. Or they can hire more people based on the size of the rollout. Okay, got it. Yeah. Now, the most important phase is business blueprint. Business blueprint is nothing but documentation of all the requirements which are gathered from the client. They need to document a step by step how they are going to build the SAP system to suit the exact client requirement. SD functional consultant will prepare SD business blueprints. MM functional consultant will prepare MM blueprints. FICO, like this module specific, they will prepare the business blueprints. The blueprint will consist of 
organization structure in the master data as what we are going to use in this particular project what are the different business processes sales purchasing and different scenarios all will be documented and along with that what are the risif objects means r means reports what type of reports do we the tata motors required is it weekly sales report or monthly sales report or purchase reports or any other reports why do we need to finalize everything why do we need to document all these facts is there uh, any no. Yeah, yeah, for you know, the, uh, this way it can be used for you know analysis purpose for future projects or yeah. for or for any any type of future use. Correct. At the same time, sometimes the client may come back and says that I didn't tell you, right? What we do is once we documented all these things, we'll send these documents, BPs, business blueprint, to the Tata Motor client people. They will review. and once they reviewed if any deviation found between their requirement and what the ibm team understand then they will suggest then the ibm team again will modify will send it back to the tata motors so once they reviewed they need to print the copies and they, then they will sign it physically they will write approved then these copies will be scanned and uploaded on to the portal project portal so that tomorrow the client may may not come back and says i didn't tell you you only did it means here we will show this is what you have signed for this is what we implement okay so who generally document this uh, blueprints is there a specific role yeah ibm functional team will document the project manager will review along with that the tata motors smes will review and then they will approve it okay. basically the whole team like uh, involving the all the members correct yeah. because this will be documented from ibm because sap only ibm people will know how the requirement of tata motors will be converted into an sap system these people will document Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and will be sent back to tata motors for review once review is over then these people will start working hello are you following yes yes uh, if you need any clarification let me know sure right so rice if objects means first one reports then interfaces what are the interfaces required by the tata motors for example the client what he requires all interfaces will be documented the conversions what are the conversions required again we'll discuss in detail in later part of the sessions what are the conversions required for tata motors and what are the enhancements what do you mean by an enhancement when a standard uh, sap the standard sap system is provided some solutions sometimes mm-hmm. the standard sap is not able to meet the exact client requirement then with the help of the developer the code will be enhanced by adding a new code they can provide the exact solution to the client that is what it is called enhancements okay and they will also finalize what are the forms like if you print an invoice you may print an invoice in which format they want they will like output what we say is an output printing whatever the document that is what is the alignments required how what size it is required everything will be finalized in forms Mm-hmm. then what are the workflows required and all these will be documented and then will be sent to send to the i tata motors to the client and they will review and approve it this is 
Okay. Business blueprint is the base for us to gather all the requirements and relevant test data also from business blueprint. So, what is the difference between interfaces and uh, workflows? Interface right. is nothing but SAP can be connected with the SAP to SAP or SAP to non-SAP. Suppose Tata Motors is using SAP, their customers mm -hmm. are using Oracle. How they can communicate with the different systems? Example, mm -hmm. what I mean to say is. Once they created a sales order, how they will communicate this information to the client? Is it through Gmail or Outlook? Mm -hmm. No. Some kind of com uh, No, not required. In SAP itself, they have their inbox and outbox like mailing system. Whatever they create, they can directly communicate with any other system, either Oracle system or .NET or Java based or SAP systems. The mail can be sent in SAP system or a sales order is created. That information also sent to the customer directly in mid in middle. There are converters are there which will convert an SAP system language mail into an Oracle converted mail. That is nothing but a connector between SAP and Oracle or SAP and SAP. That is called an interface like ALE, application link enabling, and EDI, electronic data interchange. These are the interfaces which are uh, used mm -hmm. to communicate SAP to SAP or SAP to non-SAP systems. Is this point clear, interface point? Yes, yes. Workflows are nothing but automatic alerts. Suppose if we nowadays if you book an online uh, TV or something, what will happen? You will get automatic alert on your mobile as well as this alert will go to the supplier vendor who is going to supply, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In a similar way for SAP system also, once you create any transaction based on the customer, this alerts will go to the customer automatically when they have maintained the workflow in their system. If they don't maintain the workflow, an automatic email alert won't go to the relevant customer. Okay. So okay. Is nothing but just how our system is communicating with customers or any other. Am I okay. clear? Yeah, yes. Right. Once these documents are ready and everything is ready, based on these documents, based on the business blueprint, the functional consultants, either SD or MM, FICO or HR, all these functional consultants will go into SAP system. Till now, we are on a Word document or somewhere, but once these documents are ready, based on these documents and requirements, the functional consultant will go into SAP system and they will start creating the complete client requirements. That is what we will call configurations and customizations will be done to create the exact client's require, required SAP system. So it's more like technical, like uh, information and, uh, right? Um, yeah, based on this requirement, the functional consultant will go into SAP system. They will configure the SAP system organization structure, master data, and business process related functionality, reports, everything. They will make it ready in a development server in realization phase. Once it is ready, then they will, the functional consultant will conduct a unit testing in development environment. Then once it is working fine as per the client requirement, then they will move the configuration and customizations from development server to quality environment. 
Okay, okay. So developers uh, before that developers will develop, right? So yeah. the system. Yeah. Developers will develop, then they will ask the functional consultant to validate. Okay. Once the functional consultant is validated, if it is working as per the client requirement, then they will move it to quality environment. That is in final preparation phase as a tester, SAP tester, mainly you will involve in integration and regression testings. Meanwhile, the functional consultant will provide the user trainings. Once the user got trained and the security team is allocated the authorizations, they will conduct security role testing and then the mm -hmm. user will perform UAT, user acceptance testing. Once UAT is passed, then all the configuration which is there in quality environment will be moved to production environment. Production environment. Okay. Along with that, a data already Tata using some Oracle or some legacy systems. A lot of data is there. The data will be migrated from legacy system into SAP system. Once the data is migrated on the go live schedule date, the end user of Tata Motors or the client people will start using the SAP system and will create the business transactions. That is what it is called go live. While creation of the end users, while creating the business transactions, the end users, if they get any errors, then the functional support team will help the end users to resolve the issues. This is what it is called go live and support. Okay. okay. These are the five phases which are there in our ASAP methodology. With the help of ASAP methodology, we can implement and an SAP project. What are the different phases are there? Project, mm -hmm. Business yeah. blueprint, yeah. realization, final preparation, go live and support. Okay. In the latter class we'll discuss how actually in real time in the system how are we going to do what is the functional consultant's job what is a developer's job? What is a tester's job? We'll see in the latter part of the sessions. So that you will have more clarity how an ASAP methodology will be useful to an implementation of SAP project. Okay, okay. So where the test data created, like which way is... Uh, right. So Correct. Here, once the realization phase is done, means it is in development server. Mm -hmm. After that, it will be moved to quality environment. There, you will create your test data based on the business blueprint and business process master list. What are those things? You will understand in latter part sessions because it is still we are in the beginning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. This is all about for today. Again, we'll meet tomorrow at the same time. Same time for four o'clock, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Right, you are okay. clear. Uh, whatever yeah. we discussed, you are clear, right? Yeah, I'm clear. Yeah. Right. Okay then. Thank you very much and have a Thank good. good yeah, day. yeah. Will you, will you send in these slides so I can save it? Yeah, yeah. I'll send you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Bye.